Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install an M.2 drive in an OWC Envoy Express enclosure. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft static free surface. We're now ready to begin. The first step is to flip the enclosure over. This will allow us to access these two Phillips screws on the bottom, which we'll need to remove. You should now be able to remove the bottom cover by lifting up on the side where the screws were, then pulling it out the rest of the way. Next, we'll need to remove this Phillips screw, which we'll need later to hold the drive in place. The connector for the M.2 drive has a notch, which corresponds to a pin in the socket for the enclosure. Align the two and slide them together. Next, push down on the opposite side of the drive and replace the Phillips screw we removed earlier to hold it in place. The bottom cover has a notch along the edge without the screw holes. This corresponds with a small lip on the enclosure. Slide the cover into place so the notch covers the lip, then lay the cover flat. Finally, replace the two Phillips screws on the bottom cover and your drive is ready to use. To install the Envoy Express's mounting bracket to the back of your laptop, first make sure the surface is clean and dry. Next, peel the protective backing from the adhesive on the bracket. With the laptop cover closed, align the bracket over the area you'd like it to be, then carefully press it into place on the back of the display. The drive should now slide into the bracket and be easily plugged into your computer. If you want to put the bracket on a different computer, first remove the drive from the bracket. Then, gently but firmly lift up on one edge of the bracket. Don't put too much pressure on the bracket, the adhesive is very strong. This process may take several minutes, but with slow, constant pressure, it will eventually come loose and will get easier as it goes along. Once you've lifted the bracket free, there will be no residue left on the computer and you're free to place the bracket on another computer.